here in Walpole today at High Bank Cemetery. We're going to learn uh, more in depth of some of the, the funeral practices of uh, our Indigenous uh, neighbors. And uh, Stacy Naughty is going to walk us through some of that. Uh, what, what happens from, from the point where they, they passed away and the family says, okay, this, is, this was the plan, that mom was going to pass away at home, she's now passed away. So once the embalming's done, then they go in and the family goes in. Okay, to the, to the funeral home. To the funeral home. Okay. And what they do is a, a cedar bath. And what that is, is boiled up cedar water. Okay. And they, uh, they go in as family and they, uh, they wash the body. They take care of the body, and oh, okay. cleanse it, and purify it, and and, um, and all the time that they're uh, they're doing that, they they talk to the spirit okay. of the individual, just like they're still there with them. Um, families can choose to have a sacred fire okay. at a at a either at the family home or the individual's home or somewhere in the community. We would rather have all of the stuff done with the funeral here in the community. Sure. So it's more personal, it's more intimate, it's more about yeah. us and the family and the person. And uh, The funeral preparations will be done all outside. Okay. The body might be inside of the community center. Okay. Um, but the fire and the teepee or the area where the fire is at for from the day that it started right up until the day of the funeral, the fire is still going. So oh, it's okay. 24 hours, seven, so people are just stoking the flames. And they, they put some logs on the fire periodically and use the medicines in the fire. And that's where you offer your prayers. And everybody in that, uh, that fire um, attracts all of that energy that's needed for everything for this person to transition from this physical realm still to the spirit realm because they're still here with us, sure. even in the body part. Right. And this used to be the home, so this is where the spirit knows that this is the home and I'm gonna stay with it till it's no longer being touched and no longer being, you know, bothered by us, the right. living. Right. And, and that's why, you know, we're putting them in the ground so that none of that happens and the spirit rests. So from what you're describing, where they, uh, the, the family has gathered, uh, whether it's at the community center, the funeral home, or the home, mm -hmm. when, when you come to a, a conclusion at that point, is, is that when you sort of make the journey to a place like this? The funeral procession can include a driver on the community. Okay. So the, so the, the hearse will take the person out maybe near the home that they lived in, maybe okay. sort of near a place they work, maybe stop somewhere along the way. Sure. Uh, maybe along the river, do something there maybe, maybe and then kind of finally. A, a symbolic journey yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then finally coming back to, to this area that we're using now for my sister's uh, funeral. She uh, passed away of cancer. And when she died, we ended up having nothing but women pallbearers. Oh wow! Wow, so, that's because powerful. Because we come from a we come from a big family. It's before um, the individuals lowered into the ground, we again gather and we we share that these are the last moments we're we're at that time now. Right, right. At the uh, kind of end of the journey yeah, of this mm -hmm. side, we've the, done everything that we can to yeah. to celebrate their life, to honor them, to uh, respect them and to send them off on that next journey yeah. uh, to the spirit world. What ends up happening then is that uh, um, we will smudge, we're using the, uh, the medicine, smudge okay. ourselves, prepare ourselves, allowing all of the, anybody else to smudge if they want, and we ask them. So we're going to be honoring them with a song because um, all of creation is energy. No ceremony or practice will ever be the same right it will always be different sure because every and life just was different. allows us to open our eyes even more it's like wow that is yeah. awesome i like that proper protocol to me right is the funeral home tells me who called me tells me who it is okay so i have to meet with the family bring right. them out here pick the plot 